Hello, I'm Graham Pink and I'm a director of Comdronic Limited. In this short video, we're going to be looking at how we select a valve from the AC6. There are over 4,500 valves stored in the unit from 69 manufacturers. We want to show you how easy it is to select the correct valve quickly and efficiently. In this instance, we're going to be looking for a Crane D931 fixed orifice valve, size 3 quarter inch, 20 millimeter. And to start with, all we do is turn the unit on by pressing the menu button. Now that we have the unit powered up, we need to find the correct valve. So we go to the menu button and you can see there the first valve manufacturer that comes up is Albion. We said there are 69 manufacturers in there and these are all in alphabetical order. So we simply now, meant we now arrow through the manufacturers until we find Crane. So we're pressing the right arrow and just keep going until we find Crane. Okay, we found Crane, but you can see that beneath that, there is now a choice of variable. And if we move down there and we can look across, we can have variable, fixed, PICV, or back to variable again. There are different families of valves for every manufacturer, but we want fixed. So we're gonna go across again to fixed. And now that we're in the right family, we've gotta find the right figure number. We move the down arrow again, Figure 902, we want a D931. Using the right arrow, keep going through until we find the D931. And you can see there's a number of valves in there. And uh, there we are at the D931. And the size underneath that is 15 millimeters. We want 20 millimeters. So down arrow again, right arrow. And there we are, crane, fixed orifice, D931, 20 millimeters. So we now press the tick button to select all of those parameters. And you can see there, there is a picture of a valve on the screen that shows the uh, schematic of a fixed orifice valve. And underneath that is the KVS value, the 4.7. This is the important number. This is the number that's gonna be used to convert the differential pressure that we're measuring into the flow rate. So that's great. We know that we've got that valve stored and that's fantastic. We've got the KVS value, but there are occasions when you're going to go onto site, you're going to find a valve you weren't expecting. It may be not in the unit. It may be a brand new valve, um, one that we haven't had the data on yet. So we need to then enter the KVS value for that particular valve. Hopefully there's a tag on the valve that says what the KVS value is. Otherwise it's a matter of inquiring with the manufacturer, finding the KVS value for that valve and then entering it into the AC6. So press the menu button. And in the main menu there, you can see further down the selections is user KVS. So we arrow down to user KVS, press the tick button, and this brings us up the, the box we need to enter the user KVS in. So to enter a KVS of let's say 3.74, we start by pressing the up arrow three times, we then go to the right arrow once. The down arrow gives us a decimal point. Right arrow again. Up arrow seven times. Right arrow, up arrow four times. Press the tick button and return to the screen for the flow and pressure. You can now see that we still have a fixed orifice valve schematic on there, but the KBS has changed to 3.74. So any differential pressure reading that we take now, we'll be using the KVS of 3.74 to convert it into a flow rate. <laughs> 